Kentucky Speedway with Wayne LaPierre, Executive Vice President and CEO of the National Rifle Association. Wayne, you just announced the NRA American Warrior 300. Tell us about it. Well, you know, NRA has its roots in the military going back to 1871 when we were founded. And we've always had a close relationship with the military, with law enforcement. And too often, Americans forget the sacrifices of these men and women that get up every single day, strap on a gun, and go out there and fight for truth and justice. So this is a great chance for the NRA to honor all these men and women, their acts of sacrifice, their heroism, as we come together on Labor Day weekend at the NRA American Warrior 300. You know, when you think about the major sports in this country, there isn't any sport more patriotic than NASCAR. So the, the confluence of the NRA and NASCAR just seems such, such a natural. Yeah, I remember when Charlton Heston used to go to NASCAR races and he used to ride in one of those parade trucks and he would go around the track and it was literally like a wave at a sports stadium. NRA, Charlton Heston, NASCAR, Speedway Motorsports, I mean a bunch of great brands that stand for patriotism and America and freedom together. Um, there's also an offer. There's uh, the first 25,000 people who go to the NRA uh, Warrior website. Uh, tell us what they could get. They get a free ticket to the Atlanta race, which is a great, great deal. They also get the free digital American Warrior magazine. So, free magazine that is really the cutting edge magazine on tips of technology, tactics, gear, all kinds of great stuff. Plus, they get a free ticket to the race. It's going to be a fabulous weekend. Wayne, beyond this, what else, um, you know, your job is, is as head spokesperson for the NRA, how else do you get the message out that the NRA is a mil is a very pro-military, it's not just about gun, people, people think NRA is just about guns, Second Amendment, but it's a very pro-military organization. Well, I think the people know it, to tell you the truth. I mean, through our membership, we have a huge number of men and women, military families. We have 80,000 law enforcement members of the NRA. We have 11,000 police instructors. So, I mean, this is not something that the NRA, this is part of the NRA on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, going back to the roots of the organization. And we're real proud about what's going to happen here on Labor Day weekend. It's going to be a great thing. We've got some real, really touching stuff that's going to be done in terms of who's going to end up doing gentlemen start your engines and all that type of stuff that really honors the sacrifice, not only these men and women, but their families that are back home and that will be recognized also. Well, I think as a testament to what you're saying, people are just all around taking pictures of the car. We were walking around earlier with my NRA News shirt on. People stop you all the time. Very patriotic crowd. It's going to be a great event. Yeah, it is. I mean, and this is what NRA is about. I mean, I always say the NRA is not about the building in Washington. It's not about those of us there. I mean, our reflection is the reflection of where the American public stands on freedom, patriotism, these great freedoms we have in the Bill of Rights and uh, how they feel about our country. And that's where the NRA's clout comes from. That's what it's about. And this gives us a chance to honor a big piece of the NRA on Labor Day weekend, all the men and women in law enforcement in the military. Wayne, we'll see you in Atlanta. Thanks, Cam. Look forward to seeing you there. And I hope everyone texts American Warrior picks up a free ticket to the race and come see us on Saturday night. Enjoy the race, meet a lot of really interesting people and honor the men and women of the military and police.